What's up everybody? I'm sorry that it's dark, but my time to make videos is becoming more and more limited. I got people staying here. I had to wait for a window for them to leave. I'm not just going to sit here and talk in front of my camera with people in the house. I got the Nintendo Switch. You see this shit here? Uh, I got some problems with it. I got some real problems with this console. I got some real issues, people, but first I'm going to tell you the good. The good is, it is a very surprisingly solid little product. Um, when I pulled this out of the box and held it and stuck the little, the little Joy-Cons on, the little Joy-Cons, isn't that cute? Uh, I was very surprised at how solid everything felt. Now, even though, even though these things are made for tiny people, you people are so... Petty and tiny. Look at this. They're they're super super small. I don't know. I don't know who uses this. I had a guy tell me I got to use them separately. I can't use them in the controller separately. Do do you see this? Yeah, that's uh, that's not gonna work, buddy. Okay, separately is not happening. Not for me. You gotta be a tiny person. To use it. As a matter of fact, I feel like any adult hand is going to be too big for these. It just doesn't feel natural. But that being said, they do still feel surprisingly solid. The console itself feels solid. I like the way everything looks. I like the way everything sounds. It's got little clicking noises. You know what I mean? Everything snaps into place real nice. Uh, you know, so for what it is, for the handheld that it is, it's. It's a solid product. The screen looks good. Everything looks and feels real nice. Unfortunately, that's where the good ends. Now, see, the problem I have with this console, and I've only had it for a week, the problem I have is that I feel like it was specifically designed for more purchases. This product was specifically designed so you have to buy more and more shit for it. See, Nintendo... Nintendo was very clever. At first I sat back and I said, what are these, what are these clowns smoking? What is it they think they have over everybody? A few games? A few exclusive titles? Because there's only a few exclusive titles worth a damn on the Switch anyways. And everybody's going to boast about the portability thing and we're going to get into that. But the bottom line is, it's not, it's not arrogance. It's just downright them being smart. It's good business. It's bad business for us, but it's good business for them. Now, I don't know if I said it or not, I got it as a Christmas present. I did not buy this, this system. I held off for the longest, even though I wanted to play Zelda. Okay, and I got some gripes about this. I might have to do a separate video for this. I got, I got a total of seven hours approximately in it now, and uh, I got some real gripes with this game. But we're talking about the system. Um, right off rip, you're going to need a pro controller. I need a pro controller because I want to play this in docked. I don't want to play it in handheld. In playing docked, I have to use this little uh, converter thing that came with it where you stick the Joy-Cons in there, and it just does not feel good. The thumbsticks do not feel good. This does not feel good at all. So in order to fully enjoy this system, I need a pro controller. That's going to be another $60. Uh, it's usually advertised for $70, but right now I think it's about $60. I'm going to need a micro uh, US, US, uh, D. I, I don't know what it is. I'm going to need a memory card. A little micro memory card. That's $30, $40, $50, bucks, depending on the size you get. Uh, a guy sent me a link. I can get a 128 gigabyte one over at Amazon for like $29 bucks right now. Maybe it was even $27. So that's not too bad. You need a uh, glass protector because... The dock, I heard all this shit about smudges and everything like that. I haven't watched too much coverage of the Switch, okay, because I'm not exactly a Nintendo guy. But I've seen people docking it or taking out a dock saying it's being scratched. People, I'm, I'm thinking, how hard is it to take care of your electronics? I stick this thing in the dock. Like, I'm, I'm inserting it so slow, it still smudges the screen. It still has the smudge on there. You're not going to be able to see it. My lighting sucks. I apologize for that. I'm like, how? So I got to get a protector. I already did. I got one at, uh, at Best Buy for $10. Look at this. I got this here, $10. I put it on. I put it on. 
I clean the case off with my microfiber, or I clean the glass off with my microfiber. I peel off the first layer, I set it down real nice, peel off the second layer, there's bubbles all on the screen, bubbles everywhere. It's a complete and total waste of $10. I drove to Best Buy for a Pro Controller. Uh, it said it was in stock, I get there, oh, we're all out of stock. Uh oh, that's real nice. I guess I'll just get this, and that's a waste. So that had to go into the trash can. Okay, I had to throw away the glass protector, so or the uh, the little plastic cover. So I got to get a glass protector now. So that's more money. Otherwise, they sold you a product that scuffs that you. I mean, I guess you don't have to use it, but if you want to use it on the big screen, a, an intended feature of the console, it scuffs up their own product. Their product scuffs up their product. People, that 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 blows my mind. That blows my mind. So I have to buy something to fix their screw up. What? Tell me what sense that makes. Okay, so what do we got? We got the memory card. We got the pro controller. We got the uh, glass cover. Don't, don't get the little plastic cover, get a glass cover. Uh, and I don't even know how that's gonna look. I don't even know how, I don't know what kind of glare it's gonna have. I don't know what that's even gonna entail. Another thing I forgot to mention, you see these Joy-Cons here that attach to the console? They don't charge when they're off. They gotta be on this console. So when it's docked, when this is docked, and I gotta use these because I don't have a Pro Controller, these don't charge. Now granted, the charge on these lasts a crap ton longer than the charge on this, so that is nice. But the fact of the matter is, is I gotta put them back onto the console and then stick it in dock mode for this thing to charge. Or I got to plug it in directly to the bottom. I guess I could do that. But I like it playing on the big screen. So I'd have to unhook that so I can hook it into this. And that's too much of a pain in the ass. So a new controller is mandatory. Or something to charge these when it's not on that. Let's talk about the games. I went to this digital library. I went to this store. The in-game store. Nintendo... You, <laughs> you guys like smelling your own shit. Mario Kart, a game that was on the Wii U is $60. Super Mario Brothers U, which was on the Wii U, it's coming out for $60. It's a remastered game. These are remastered games that you're charging a full $60 for. Not only are you charging a full $60, but it's like Mario Kart came out a while ago and it's still $60, bucks, has not dropped a single dollar. So I'm like, well, the retail games will probably be cheaper. Nope. You go to you go to Best Buy, everything's 60 bucks. Everything. The Switch has the most expensive game library. Their games run the shittiest, and it's the most expensive. And this is where everybody's going to talk about portability. Portability. It's the portability aspect. And see, because of that defense, Nintendo knows that they can nickel and dime us for every little tiny thing. They specifically designed this console, I'm telling you, so you would have to buy more shit for it. You have to buy more shit. But uh, the portability excuse is bullshit. I'm going to tell you why. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to play this in portability mode. I know a lot. That's a, that's a great appeal for a lot of people. Now, if you travel, you spend a lot of time in a hotel room, fine. But it's like, who seriously games in public? Who? Are you going to... Are you going to sit there and turn your volume up and bother everybody around you? No, you got to put on headphones. And then what? You're completely and totally dead to your surroundings. You are absolutely useless. I don't know about you, but when I'm out and about, I'm always watching. When I'm out in public, I'm watching everything and everyone. I know everything about my surroundings at any given time when I am out in public. Now, yes, at the house, I do tend to get a little laxy-daisy, but I believe that's all of us. And I'm not even going to go into an explanation as to why that is. That should be common sense, at least to me. It's common sense. So the portability aspect, it's nice. It's nice. And people say, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not going to try to take anything away from it. We got, we got some, some very impressive multi-platform games that are on the Switch. I haven't personally played them yet because they're $60 for 360p, 30 FPS, shit that runs at 4K60 on the consoles. On the consoles. But the bottom line is this. Think about the, the, the PlayStation 4 bundle that came out this holiday. It came with a PlayStation 4, the DualShock 4, and Spider-Man. It came with a game. 
Okay, it came with all this shit. And you don't need to get nothing else for it. Connects the internet, Wi-Fi works, the controller's awesome. Everything works out the box. It comes, I, I think it's a terabyte hard drive, this Slim. I think. So you can download like 15 plus games and just rock and roll as is. It's a Spider-Man game, so you don't need to be online. So you got everything you need with the Switch. That's not the case. Now people are going to say, oh, you can do the same thing with the Switch. Man, I cannot use this bullshit controller. If you can, fine, that's nice. I cannot allow that dock to keep scratching up my shit. I need a damn glass cover. I'd like to buy more games. Right now there's a sale going on, PSN, Xbox, Steam, all, all the damn platforms, GOG, where games are $10. Uh, good games, $15, $20. You go to the Switch store, no sale, $60, $60. Mario Kart, $60. Mario Odyssey, $60. It's like, what are they, what are they doing? It's like, man, portability, stick that, stick that up your ass because that should not, it's nice. But it's not like this huge feature. It's like, for me, I'd look at that. I'd look at this Wolfenstein 2 game. I'd want to play that just to see how they got it on the Switch. And, of course, I'm not going to know how they got it on the Switch by playing it. Meaning, I, I'd like to see, I'm curious to see the performance. It is impressive that they got this on the Switch. But it's like, I don't need to play games that bad. Okay? Your, your wife and kids are watching or your PC. So you got somebody else watching your TV. Okay, that's nice. Well, in my household, the wife has her own TV. My kids have their own TVs. They have their own consoles. Everybody has their own shit. If they want to switch, I'll get them a switch. You know what I mean? There's no reason for them to take my shit up. So, the only, the only thing I can see with it being useful, portability-wise, is sitting on the toilet. And I, I'm, I, I don't like to do that either. I don't like to have magazines or anything. And I feel like anything, if there's any reading material in the bathroom, I don't touch it. Okay? That's, that's, that's disgusting. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I get the appeal. I'm not going to completely discard the portability aspect because I understand for a lot of people that is the biggest thing about it. It's portable. I can use it portable. I'm not impressed. I want to use it on my big screen TV. So uh, I understand why people like it, but for, for a guy like me, uh, I feel like there's a lot of you out there like me, um, overrated, man, overrated. I'm debating right now whether or not to keep it. Best Buy's got that 15-day re return policy. I'm really debating. I'm going to end up dropping some serious cash for this thing. After when it's all said and done, when I got a couple games, the Pro Controller and all the other shit that we talked about, I could have bought a 2070 graphics card. For my PC. Now granted I didn't buy the Switch, but still, you know, that's money she could have given me that I could have put in toward that card. You know? But I've always wanted to play Breath of the Wild. I got I traded my neighbor a Wii U for it. I I, I lost interest. I I really wanted to play Breath of the Wild. I'm gonna keep playing it. I, I don't think I'm gonna take it back. I think I'm gonna try to keep playing Breath of the Wild, and something will come out, the second I take it back, something else will come out, and I'll want that, and I'll have to end up paying for it anyways, so I might keep it, I might take it back, I don't know, I don't know, it's really going to depend on these next couple days, playing Zelda, and however that gaming experience turns out, so why the Switch is, is just taking off, and uh, taking off the way it is, and, and just dominating the sales market, uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Nintendo fans are a little bit uh, overhyping their product. Okay, it's impressive. It ain't that impressive. All right, that's all I got for you. I'll let you later.